Hey kiddos. So happy Friday, first of all. Uh, and secondly, we are going to be making our leaf wreaths today. Uh, so typically you would use a paper plate and you would cut out the center, but since I don't have any paper plates, uh, I just use some cardboard and I cut out two circles to make my uh, ring. And then I'm gonna use my construction paper to make the leaves. Uh, so you can do this a couple ways. You can go outside and collect some nice full leaves and then bring them in and trace them. Uh, if it's raining or if the leaves are wet, that might not be a great option. Um, another option you can do is you can print pictures of leaves and just cut them out. Uh, and then of course the third option is freehand, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, so as you know, there's a couple different shapes to leaves. There's the classic uh, sort of teardrop shape or a rounded diamond shape. And then there's the five finger maple leaf that is also uh, always really pretty to use um, in your fall decorations. And so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna kind of combine an idea that I had uh, with this activity. And instead of the maple leaves, I'm gonna do handprints because kids always like to um, get their hands traced. So I am going to draw some nice big leaves on my paper and I'm gonna trace my hand. And I will fast forward through this because it's going to be pretty long. <laughs> Once you get them all traced up, you can cut them out. got all of that stuff cut out and now I realize that I left my glue over there. Okay. <laughs> okay, now that we've just got them all cut out, we glue them on. Looks like I'm gonna have to do two more hands. Look at the mess I made. Okay. I think that's that for the hands. <laughs> now I'm gonna glue the little leaf shapes on. Looks pretty cute, I think. <laughs> and you know what else you can do? I just had this idea. Let's go see if we can figure it out. Okay. I got my markers. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw on the leaves. I'm gonna make the little veins on the inside. There 
we go. Okay, now we've really got a wreath. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Looks pretty good. All right, the final step will be to adhere the string so you can hang it. Oh, gee, maybe I should have thought of that before I taped all these hands down. Hmm. I think actually what I'll do is I'll just go like this. Just like that. Yeah. And you can tie the knot at the top. All right, boys and girls, there is your leaf hand wreath. Festive. I hope you guys have fun doing this. Uh, have a good weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday for a whole nother activity.